was not the plan. This was not the plan, frugal friends. <laughs> Frugal friends, good morning. My name is Julie. Welcome to the Frugal family. I am in the van. It's 39 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm out before the kids are awake, having some me time, and doing some recon and some looky-loos. Yes, even those of us who have been diving for well over a decade get nervous after a long, long hiatus away from the dumpsters. But not only are we trying to break the ice and, you know, Get comfortable with it again we need to see is it still worthwhile having been doing YouTube dumpster diving for going on five years now we've run into a lot of problems that come with putting this on YouTube bins get locked stuff gets destroyed other divers find the places that you have discovered because you put it out on YouTube so you end up with not a lot of great places to dive and gas prices, they're insane right now. So is it worth it to get out and dumpster dive? Well, we're gonna find out. As I mentioned on our live stream this week, what we are trying to figure out through the rest of this month and, um, sorry, just waving to some super early morning walkers. Um, what we're trying to figure out is, is it still worth it? Are there enough dumpsters still available with enough merchandise unlocked and undestroyed for us to, you know, for it to be worth our, our time, effort, and, and gas money to get out there and look? Well, let's see. The only way to know is to go. So that's what we're doing. Unsurprisingly, the craft store dumpster is locked. Just kind of getting an idea of what they're throwing away. Ah, well, this doesn't look like anything good. We'll take a little bit of pine cone and pine. Um, hey, I hope that happens more often. Not that I want there to be garbage everywhere, but that is one of the struggles they have um, in having their bin locked. Hmm. Interesting. The dollar store dumpster, however, blessedly unlocked. Got some Snyder's pretzels. Oh, we have a whole bunch. Snack size bags. Well, this was just going to be a recon and a looky-loo, but obviously if we found stuff, we were going to get it. Those are plantains, Best Buy, October 24th. Look at all these chips and chips down there. You know we have to take some and pretzels down there. All right, luckily I did bring my tools. Whew. My stepladder, which I almost didn't bring because I was just, you know, doing recon. I have a tote, I have a grabber, I even have the rake. Take some of these. We'll leave some for other divers. Looks like there's some honey buns back there too. Onion rings. I definitely want all the pretzels because I know we'll eat those. But I might as well probably better take the chips and just share them because I don't know, I can't guarantee that someone else will come and salvage what we don't take. And there's the honey buns. Lots of them. Probably ought to get the other tote. I'm gonna be crushing all of my chips and pretzels. Oh. Luckily, I did grab two totes. How's that for <laughs> this being my recon and looky-loo? And we end up welcomed back to the bins with all this. It's crazy. 
hoping that would I can pull the whole case out, but that's not the that's not the case, huh? Oh Julie. I also have to be very careful and listen to my back and my wrist. And I'm doing that mostly. Darn it, if the fins didn't leave like the most amazing massive haul for us. First time back. October 25th, those are probably still good. I don't know if this is gonna hold together. At least enough to get it into the car. still all those honey buns back there it looks like it might be another case over there but unfortunately my back is telling me that that's enough and where I was not expecting or planning to have anything <laughs> this morning um, <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna be incredibly happy <laughs> and hopefully you guys are too and if not well I'm the one in this broken old body, so this will, this will absolutely be enough for me to be happy. And the kids will be thrilled for some extra treats for their lunches. <sighs> yeah, welcome back to the bins. <laughs> Almost certain that the lady that just uh, went into the parking lot as I was turning out works at the dollar store coming in for a early early shift I guess maybe holiday prep so <clears throat> so definitely having to listen to the body but guys how cool <laughs> what do you know right what do you know I my only thought was that we would find locked or unlocked bins and show you that uh that we'd show you how to do a looky-loo while well, we're well beyond and past a looky-loo a looky-loo is just driving up hopping out lifting the lid hopping back into your car and driving away we went beyond that which i know would be a bit much for a first timer but what are you gonna do the stuff was there you know <laughs> had to grab it obviously didn't take all of it there's plenty more if other divers want to go and grab it. Wonderful. Hopefully, oh, I hope someone else will go and salvage that. But physically, I couldn't and shouldn't. So, what can I say? Not at all bad uh, for a first time back to the dumpsters. Anyway, let's go and do a bit more of the recon that we're meant to do today. <laughs> I do want to go behind this new strip mall. And this is just standard recon, guys. What you do, you, you start with a drive or walk or bike or whatever and go behind a strip mall or a grocery store or whatever at different times of the day. Well, that's deeper recon. First, you just go and see if there are dumpsters um, versus like compactors because a lot of places have compactors. And so you go and you see, do they have dumpsters? All right, yay, nay. And then, do those dumpsters have locks? Yay, nay. Um, 
that's that's just the very beginning. That's the step one. Then, so let me let me kind of show you. All right, so you pull up, and you see, okay, this strip mall, they've got dumpsters. Awesome. Are they locked? No. Gates are open. Then I get my glove on. And we go do a looky loo. Just going in, lifting the lid. It's empty. How about this one over here? Garbage, garbage, garbage. And what about this one? And that's restaurant stuff, and I don't want to mess with that. That is your basic looky loo and initial recon. This is definitely the five below, but it's all just merchandising. Like, not actual merchandise. Oh, shit! <laughs> Sorry, kitty. Didn't mean to disturb you. Oh, my God. Be ready for anything. Oh, catch my breath. Catch my breath. Hold on. Be ready for anything. Sorry, kitty. Oh, that kind of, I mean, that startled me. Super, super startled me. But also that worries me for kitty cats being in dumpsters like this. They can, they can get hurt when it comes time to have this, um, goes in the recycling, um, to have this emptied and, and crushed. So be careful, kitty cats. Woo, that's how wakes you up. So your next step, once you have found that, oh, okay, they have dumpsters. Uh, the dumpsters are not locked. The gates are not locked. Yay, that's a huge win right there. That is massive because you're not gonna find <laughs> a ton of those available, okay? Don't count on those being everywhere. But once you have found that, yay. Now you need to figure out, okay, when would be the right time to go and, and hit those up? And that's where it gets trickier and cost more gas money and time because you're gonna have to go come back and forth and back and forth to see when it's likely that they're you know dumping all of their uh, returns or slightly damaged or um, excess stuff that they have or after season stuff you're gonna have to be coming back and checking you're also gonna want to figure out well when does their garbage get picked up you're going to um, want to see well when when is it likely to be totally dead like this? Do I need to come at night? Uh, it is early in the morning better? What day of the week? Also, do they have a security guard? Do they have a patrol? It, what area is this in? Is it safe to come over here at night or early in the morning? All of those kinds of things, those are your recon. I get comments, I'll always have, but get these all the time. When's the best time to dumpster dive? Well, that depends on you, your area, and your store. I, I can't tell you when the best time is. You gotta figure that out. And that takes time and effort and recon. And I spent a lot of years, <laughs> so many years doing recon. And that that's another reason that I would say don't dumpster dive on YouTube because all of that time and effort that you've put into finding the right time, the right dumpster, all of that, there's a good chance you're gonna lose all that effort because now you've kind of advertised those dumpsters to everybody else in the area and they know when to go. So <laughs> keep that in mind, word to the wise. Again, that will be in the reasons you shouldn't dumpster dive on YouTube video that I'm working on. But if you want to dive, that's what you need to start doing. It does look like, to sum it all up, it does look like there are enough bins and enough unlocked bins and enough potential for merchandise, for us, as my body says, yes, okay, 
there is enough reason for us to attempt to dumpster dive. But this is just based on, you know, a quick recon of a morning, one morning. So we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep doing our recon, our looky lose, and I, of course, bring you along. There is no guarantee and it is not at all likely that we'll get this massive snack score <laughs> on a recon. But if it happens, I'll show you. Thank you for coming along. I am so grateful for each and every one of you and especially our Patreon friends whose names will appear at the end of this video. Thank you all of you who watch every one of our videos and always comment no matter what it is we're putting up, whether here or on the family vlog channel. You guys are so, you you keep my, my crunchy old heart going and you're the reason I'm out here this super early chilly morning. You're the reason. I wouldn't do this for just anybody. No. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Have a great day. We'll see you all, well, real soon.